Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Trace Sam, and welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. The only show on YouTube that no one watches. I, don't, I, I just realized Raw Thoughts. Raw Thoughts, of course, Raw Thoughts like just off the dome, but also fucking thoughts raw. Where did this idea, where did thoughts come from, right? It means uh, a, a slut or a hoe, right? It's another, it's another name for just like a hoe. Um, but I feel like it's more for like the, the digital age, like a thought, like a thought, a thoughty is someone that uh, puts out, uh, you know, scandalous pictures on Instagram for like thirst traps and stuff. I'm interested to hear like the etymology of these new words. Another one is like cap, you capping, right? This to lie. That was something that like I recently learned. Like, oh, no, no cap. No cap means no lie. Like quit capping, quit capping fool, right? Stop lying. Uh, another one that I'm seeing now is like bet. I right, bet, but before it was like, I right, bet. And I, I didn't even say that, right? But now just people say bet. So it's like, hey man, come over at seven, bet, right? It's just like, cool, dope, okay, cool, you got it. Sounds good. It's like, sounds good, bet. Bet. I don't use it. I mean, it, it feels forced for me. It feels like I'm trying. It's just not part of my normal vernacular. Drinking coffee. It's been a been a while since I've done a, a raw thoughts. Uh, my biggest break since I started. My voice feels low. It feels l easier to go lower right now. I am no fap. I think almost seven days right now. True, true no fap. Uh, some days I'm able to avoid my triggers. Other days not so much. But. Uh, we're moving in the right direction, so we're gonna keep it positive. Uh, lots going on in the world right now. Yeah, well, bro, it feels weird to talk. Or not weird, but I, like my, my voice is just registering on a deeper level, but more uh, without effort, easilier, easilier. But what's the better word for that? My voice is flowing without constraint or um, I guess effort was a decent word. Yeah, but I can feel, I can feel like right now without even trying a lot, I'm speaking in my chest. And normally I'm speaking up here, right? It's like, hey guys, how's it going? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Um, but with c concentration, I can usually lower it if you know how to relax uh, your throat muscles right there. Uh, but with this nofap, it's like, um, it's lowering edge, uh, in general. I don't like how low this is. Why don't I, can I lift this? I'll just do that. I don't really like the high angle, but, oh. Uh, yeah, and so I can also do, now if I wanna try and speak as low as possible, and speak for my diaphragm, right? Oh, hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts. Hey, hey, hey. So the secret is low, slow, and loud. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Raw Thoughts with your host, Dre Samp. A lot of people have been telling me, whoa, man, I feel powerful speaking right now. This is crazy, bro. Stop fapping. This is crazy. I'm, I'm speaking lower than I normally do. And with ease. That's, that's the word I was looking for before. With ease. 
without effort, but with ease, right? Speaking low. Oh, a lot of people have been telling on my TikTok, man, that oh, I sound like uh, David Schwimmer. They're like, Ross from Friends? Is that you? Ross? 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 Oh my God, it doesn't he sound like Ross? Blah, 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 blah. I listen to the guy. Every, but a shit ton of people are saying it. Like, hundreds, right? So they're hearing something. I, I'm not hearing it. But okay. And other people are saying, this is Melman? I hear Melman. I hear Melman from Madagascar too. Who the fuck is Melman? It's David Schwimmer. It's the same fucking guy. So people are telling me I sound like him. Dozens, hundreds. So I don't know. And he's doing voice acting. So I'm like, man, maybe I should get into that shit. Also, like the more I'm doing on camera stuff, I f I'm playing more with my voice and understanding my voice better. Because I'll do takes right here. Five tips to be more confident. And then I'll realize that I'm way up here in my register. And if I just relax after I get do 20 takes in it, it's like five tips to be more confident, right? Five tips to be more confident. Whoa, bro, it's, going, it's low, this is crazy. Um, world's a kind of fucked up place right now, man. <sighs> Honestly, it's just been this shit 24 seven for the last week or so, so. I don't know how much I want to talk about it. I feel like it's important to document what I'm feeling, what's happening right now, but also it's 24 seven, man. Uh, people are rioting, people are protesting. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of subversion and like, man, it's, it's all fucked up. They're shooting. People are dying, police are dying, but, but I mean, I think the world is finally waking up to br police brutality, man. The shit, we were talking about this shit, you know, it was racism first, right? Segregation, uh, civil rights, slavery first, Segre civil rights, and then it, and then it was but police, police brutality was a nice loophole, right? They could, they could kill with impunity would by defending the public. Anonymous is this like hacker group and they've gotten like 3 million followers in the past like two days I've watched. Uh, but they, and they've been like bringing down police radio comms and like defacing police websites. And it's good to have those guys on our side. Um, but the reason I brought that up is cause they, they posted an interesting tweet or one very, all lots of interesting tweets. But one of the what ones was like, the police, it was at the end of this long video, it was like, the police are not here to protect the people. They're here to protect the man. To protect us from the man, right? To protect us from, to protect, and by the man, I mean, like capitalist society, the elite. Police are here, like, to keep us in our place. Um... And once I realized that, or just, and he said it much more eloquently, and maybe I'll have to look up the exact quote, um, but it's like, they're not in our best interest. They're actually, you know, they're following orders and the orders that uh, the, 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 you know, of the police chief and all that, they're following the orders, you know, this is of, of the elite, you know, this is to keep us in our places, to keep us constrained. And then it kind of made me think of like police people, we, we give them so much power and authority, but really they're pawns in this game. And we're talking about police brutality and all this shit and racism, but they're the pawns and they're like, they're the ones out in the streets, you know, with the batons and the guns, maybe enacting the violence, but they're just the pawns. And if you know anything about chess, uh, pawns are the weakest piece. Uh, they're also the most expendable piece. Um, however, uh, if you can get them to the end of the board, they can do big things for you and they can change the game. Chess is life. Um, but they're easy to sacrifice. They're easy to, to, to position yourself. 
And so that makes me think, all right, so if the policemen are pawns, who are the rooks and the bishops, right? You know, the, 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 the bishops might be the, the sergeants and the, and the police chiefs, but the thing, it goes way bigger than that, right? And then, and then the, the, the knights might be the, the unions or, or, or the people that, or their lawyers and the thing, the systems. And then it's like, all right. And then the, uh, um, the, 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 the rooks are the, the Congress or the, the people that are like, you know, protecting the thin blue line from a legislative, uh, standpoint. Fuck the thin blue line. I'm mad I even said that. Uh, and then it's like, who, who is, who are the queen and king, right? It's, it's the elite. It's the ultra rich. It's the 1%. They're the ones that don't have to get their hands dirty. They're the most powerful piece. Um, they have everyone else do their bidding. They're the most important pieces. Um, yeah. Interesting. Damn, I'm already at 11 minutes. Yeah, fucked up, man. I'm afraid to go outside. I'm afraid to protest because I'm afraid to get locked up and not have someone to take care of Giano. <sighs> I do want to end on a positive note, though. Yesterday, I went outside to just walk G or have, let Giano play in the yard outside for 30 minutes before I... Um, I talked to a lot of different people yesterday, so I, I had a... I, I just realized, I've just, I've not just realized, I've known, but I, like I've been depressed just because I've been isolated, but as soon as I start talking to people, I, I, I feel a lot better. Isolation, man. What do they do in prison? Or when they like put you in isolation? Or uh, in confinement? Solitary confinement. That is some psychological warfare shit, man. A day, you know, a couple days, no biggie. A week even, but when it stretches to months. Actually, a week would be tough. Because the thing is, you're just stirring. You just have your own thoughts. If you don't have anything to bounce anything off of, you're just stewing. But I talked to a lot of, I was able to talk, so I had a pretty good, okay. But I went to the park out there and I was just gonna stay for 20 minutes because I had a, we, all the black people in Accenture on, our, on the collab team, we're meeting up. Wayne set it up. I thought it was a good idea. Um, but I just hopped the fence. I don't have my glasses on. I just have my, my uh, I don't have my glasses. I don't have my contacts on. I just have my Ray-Bans. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, blurry a little bit. And I go to, Gianno starts running around. I'm like, all right, cool. Park is empty. It's around, it's two-ish, two o'clock. Two and I was just going to stay for like, uh, 20 minutes and then hop back inside and get on that 2.30 call. And there's one person in the park. I just kind of, and I, and I see them out in the yard and it's just there, it's a, it's a woman. She's laying on her stomach. Got a nice bikini on. I mean, at least I think it's a nice bikini. Again, like my, it's, you know, I can't see, you don't know. I know. I'm talking to, I'm talking to me, my, me right now. Uh, you know, my, you know about my eye vision, right? <laughs> um, and what happened? Oh, yeah. And I was just, I, and at first I was like in a like leave her be. Um, and I like, it wasn't sure how cute she was, but she was by herself and like both like quarantine and like social distancing. But Gian was kind of like running over there near her. So I was like, I was like, cool. If my, my dog runs around, you know. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I don't remember what I said. I just, I, I kind of went on autopilot after, or no, no, for, cause for a second I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, gonna keep on like walk away in my own business. And then I was like, no, fuck face. Like go over there, investigate. But it was just, you know, I'm rusty and but I, uh, I'm so glad I did. I, I don't know what I said, but I just kind of went over there, got to talking, had a beautiful, great conversation. I, I almost got to like divulge too much. I was telling her all about like just being in isolation and like how this was like great. And like also I was, like flirting and saying like, I had my shorts on. I was like, I can't stand up right now. <laughs> and she was like eating that. She was like laughing and giggling and she's Hispanic, which I can love Hispanics. Hispanics love me. Uh, 
She speaks Spanish, uh, Dominic, or she's uh, like Venezuelan and Mexican or something like that. Her name is Ashley. Uh, and bro, she's 24, 26. Um, she looked pretty cute. Again, I didn't have all of my, <laughs> but, but like, honestly, like I love her personality. Like, like real, we vibed. We, 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 like we, we clicked almost instantly. Um, like it was, it was flirtatious, but it was also like connecting bonding. And I was like, honest, I wasn't really playing much game. I was just actually, I was kind of like almost at, at certain times losing frame, necess not necessarily losing frame, but not holding frame because I was just kind of just divulging everything. Uh, cause you know, I'm talking to people on TikTok and I'm doing these videos, but I was, and I was telling her, like, I've talked to my, 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 my family and I've talked to my, my three or four friends and I'm, uh, the three or four people I work with. And besides that, I'm not really having that much human interaction. A couple of my neighbors. So it's just not, it was nice to talk. Um, she's dope as fuck, man. She's so cool. She's smart. She works at Cigna. She runs some shit there. Bro, she's smart though. And I don't mean like book smart, but just like savvy and like has a, like a confident mindset. And she kind of called me out on my shit a couple times. Like I said something, something self-limiting. And she's like, no, don't say that. And I was like, you're, you're fucking right. I tell people on TikTok don't to say that, not to say that. Um, I told her about my TikTok. Uh, and she's out there marching, she's protesting, and she's like donating food, and doing all this like dope ass shit, man. I told her about my comedy, and she's like, oh, I do, I do stuff with Second City, through, through her business, or something like that. And, um, like we, kind of, we clicked instantly. She was smoking, but she's like, I can't offer you any, because like, COVID. And I was like, yeah, no, that's cool, that makes sense. She's, her parents live like 20 minutes away from here. She apparently she lives just a couple blocks away from me. She, and she was just coming to tan before to take a break. And then she was going to go back downtown to protest. Um, but we clicked, man, like clicked, clicked. And now I'm, now I'm like getting in my head. I'm like, don't fuck this up, dude. I'm like, or don't make it more than it needs to be. But also I was like, bro. And I told her way too many times. I was like, it's been like six months since I like talked to like anyone, especially like a cute girl. And I know this isn't making me sound like an awesome dude. I was being, I was being really vulnerable. I was being really honest. I was being completely me. I don't think I lie. I didn't lie or put on a, I mean, of course I didn't lie, but I didn't like put on a front or try to act like something. Uh, but also the more, the older I get and the more I'm doing like this video stuff, the more I just feel like, that idea of who are you or like, what's your point of view? Like it's, it's still, I can't even say it, but it just feels, I just, everything, what I'm doing just feels right. And it's, it has a lot to do with like, uh, uh, vetting the people that you, you interact with, right? Here's me and my most organic stuff and real estate taught me about this. Cause you're trying to get motivated sellers. And so you put out an ad and people say, yeah, I want to sell my house but you realize they're, they might be shopping or they're blah, 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 but there's not really a, um, there's not really true motivation. And so you might get 20 people that, that respond to your ad, but there might be one person that actually has like, oh no, I need to go, you know, in two weeks. So this needs to be sold. And like, you know, I'm willing to work on the price. It's flexible, right? That's motivation. That's what you're searching for. And so that's what you want to do in life with people. And it's, it's so it's like, yo, instead of like, trying to change yourself and try to, to fit someone's mold. It's like, oh, I hope they're going to like me if I do this, right? Or if I say this or act like this um, or act confident or act like this guy that I'm not. Instead, I'm going to be unabashedly me, maybe too much so, maybe too honest, maybe and tell them about like, you know, my family, I've got my aunts are dying, you know, or are too vulnerable um, and like how I'm sad and, and or like talking about my friend and like, but if you can accept all of that, you know me completely. And now, like, I have nothing to hide. It's not gonna just be me, because I didn't try to be like this cool, confident guy, right? And then the next time she sees me, she's like, what's different about you, right? 
because I've ha that's happened before in, on uh, dates or second dates or something like that. So, um, so yeah, that was very cool. It, it was an easy conversation. I had to go because Gianno was uh, like panting profusely and it was, it, was, it was too hot out for him. His coat's too long. It's too hot. And so I, I was like, I got to get him water. I was like, I'm enjoying this conversation. She's like, well, you can come back. And I was like, yeah, all right. But then she's like, oh, well, I think I might be going soon. I was like, all right, cool. And so we exchanged numbers. And we just I texted, did some dumb inside joke thing. And now I don't want to overthink the texting shit. Um, I don't know, man. But I'm excited for it. It's it's the first girl. I mean, besides Jen, I'm texting Jen again, too. And uh, once you get that NoFap, dude, going... Uh, Fucking ants, man. I don't know. I, got, I cleaned my whole place, but I don't know what the fuck is happening with these fucking ants, man. Yeah, so 20-minute video. All right, that's one of the longer ones. I didn't even finish my coffee. All right, well, yeah, I'm out of here. We'll see. I'll, I'll, get, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, or I'll keep, you know, uh, future Dre updated on uh, it. I feel good about it. I don't know, like, at the end, as I was leaving, I was like, yeah, I, I told her, I was like, I mean, throughout the conversation, I told her she like she was cute. Like I, you know, I didn't say I like you, but I'll, you know, everything up to that. And at the end, you know, I knew I had to close strong, so I was just like, um, after I got the number, I was like, yo, uh, I really enjoyed this conversation, and I just want to say that I'm really glad that I met you. You know, smile, uh, but completely honest. She's like, yeah, I'm really glad I met you too, and like, you know, I'm all you can talk to me whenever and like you know you know we might not be able to like go out and get drinks but like we can go on a walk or something like that and i was like i would love that she's like yeah i'd like i'd love that too so and then we left off on there and i uh, and kind of le left like a g which is great because you don't want to stick around and then she leaves and you're like okay bye so i i left first you know so that's a good close you want to leave them leaving more all right 22 minutes longest video by far uh uh, yeah, today I'm gonna, I got my new, all my camera gear is finally here, so I'm gonna play with my camera, also wanna play with getting YouTube set up and out, and maybe some affiliate marketing shit, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited, I'm, I'm about to hit 50k on, uh, TikTok followers, it's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy, um, but yeah, really scared about the future of our country, and to go outside, fuck, man, alright, peace.